We all know that Coffee Stain is now working on the Bloxburg development team because in the last Valentine's Day update we saw some easter eggs or teasers from the company itself, both on the newspaper and on this little mug that they had. Those are the only two confirmed items that they've made, but what if I told you that there are 20 new people working on the game? Just yesterday, basically Bloxburg tweeted out three new accounts were added to the Welcome to Bloxburg development group, Crazy Honey Pumpkin, Exulte, and Promise. Coeptus has also friended these individuals on Roblox. They added, I went ahead to the Bloxburg development group for myself to take a look, and if you see here, it's like the members tab, and these are the seven members that were previously added over the year 2022, but recently there's this new developer tab that was just added, and this has the four members, Froggy Hops, which is the main developer for Bloxburg. He's actually in studio right now, I guess working on the new update. Exulte, which is the new one, Promise, another new one, and Crazy Honey Pumpkin. Obviously, Coeptus is the owner, or I guess founder of the game now, is uh, in the Coeptus tab. Shortly after their original tweet, basically Bloxburg put out a new tweet saying two of the new members are also associated with a group called Test Group 12345 on Roblox. Then they include the members, which is Crazy Honey Pumpkin, the owner, Quimmer50, Shorvis, Drorkin, Promise, Talorander, Ultra Flan, and Mac Riri. So these new coffee stain devs are officially added to the Bloxburg development. So this Test Group 12345 owned by Crazy Honey Pumpkin was originally found by Cool Crown Chris. He's one of my friends on Twitter and you can follow him in the link in the description below. He immediately called me after finding these and we went into their inventories which were public at the time and found some stuff. Before we take a look into their inventories, I want to take a quick look at their profile description. Here in Drorkin's profile, you can see in his description it says he's a game designer at Welcome to Bloxburg. He was online within the last 9 hours, which is pretty crazy. His join date was also 11-2-2022, which is November and that was a few months after Bloxburg was bought by Cop. In Ultra Flan's uh, profile, you can see it says he's an animator at Welcome to Bloxburg, so I guess they make animations. They were online within the last 12 hours of me filming this video, and their account was made in the new year, or I guess this was in December, 12 one 2022 again, a few months after Bloxburg was purchased by Coffee State. The last person that's in the test group that has a description is Talrander. They are a coder at Welcome to Bloxburg, which is actually pretty important because that's what Coeptus does, and he's the owner of the game. He was online within the last five hours of me filming this video, and he made his account in November. Something that I find interesting is that none of these people seem to have any past on Roblox. Like, they're all new accounts. It's not like these people are experienced Roblox devs that were added to the Bloxburg group, but rather just coffee stain devs that were gonna, I guess, learn Roblox Studio and the way to make games and stuff by Coeptus. Oddly enough, Coeptus has only friended three of the new devs that were added to from the test group. Those would be Crazy Honey Pumpkin, Palm's Eyes, and Exulte. Some people have exploits that allow them to join people's games even when they don't have their joins on, and I think that's what this person did to join Ultra. Ultra Flan, one of the new developers, has been spotted playing Bloxburg. He's been working pizza blue delivery job to raise funds to build his plot. He has also been given the name Developer. And then as you can see here, Ultra Flan is sitting in his little pizza moped and you see, you see the little yellow developer name tag, which I think is given to uh, Froggy Hops and Bram. So I guess they're on the same sort of level. They left some pics of Ultra Flan interacting with the people that were also in the game. He says, my house isn't gonna build itself. Here's this very odd mansion, upside down pyramid type house. I don't really know what this is. And then he even confirmed it again in game. He says, I'm an animator. And then he says, right now I'm just a pizza delivery driver. It's nice to see that these people speak English because I kind of thought, I don't know why, but I thought that they didn't speak English in Sweden. And I think that's where everyone's hired from because it's coffee stain is based in Sweden. I'm not sure. But these people are able to interact with the majority English speaking population of Blanc. So when we originally found out that coffee stain bought Bloxburg for $100 million, we went over to their main website and checked the jobs profile. Here you can see the coffee stain Goatberg uh, job listings. They had senior programmer and below this they had a community manager job. It's no longer here and that was removed within the last 24 hours of me filming this video. Maybe that means that the job was filled and we now have a community manager for Bloxburg. I'm not exactly sure but that's what a lot of people are expecting. Let me know down in the comments below who you would want to be the community manager for Bloxburg. The community manager of course I guess would just convey ideas that the community has to the developers so they can more easily add items. As I said earlier here are some of the leaks that were found in the new developer inventories when they were originally published. I asked my friend Chris and he gave me some screenshots. Firstly, we have some tufted images. I guess these are for the new like, movie theater type chairs and Quimmer made these. So I guess uh, he made some impact there in the, that part of the Valentine's Day update. Uh, checking out this one, there's some car keys. I don't think these are for Bloxburg. I doubt we would be getting car keys. I don't know why we would be using those at all. I guess we kind of just hop in our cars. I don't know. We have this like donkey or like unicorn horse type thing. 
I don't know what this would be for. Maybe it's like a toy or like one of those deers that you put as a decoration on tables and stuff. I don't know, it's in build mode. And then, I don't know, is this an ottoman? I can't really tell what that says. And then, is this a car key, another car key? Just some random stuff, some fluffy trees. I don't see these coming to Bloxburg. These are probably for other projects maybe, or maybe they were just testing or learning how to use Studio since they're new developers. I'm not sure. Obviously don't just take leaks for beta when you see them because half the time they're not even coming to the game anyways. But if you keep looking, you'll see the fabric octopus. This is already in Bloxburg, so I don't think they made it, but uh, I guess it's in their inventory. I don't know why. They have these pancakes that are also in their inventory. Maybe they're revamping the pancakes for another update. Octo test, they're working on other things in studio. Simple chair, that's in Bloxburg. Flower single, I think that's plant is in Bloxburg in the garden sec. And then you'll keep going down. This is the person that made the coffee stain leaks or teasers. It says Mac Riri, and these are the images. That's on the uh, coffee stain mug that they added. And then I don't know what these are. Just some random like dots everywhere. And then uh, the coffee stain logo down here. So Mac Riri made those. And you'll keep going down. You'll see more by Mac Riri. And these are the decals that were added in the new newspaper or magazine. Now, all of the developers' inventories are closed now. I'm assuming Collective probably told them to. I'm not sure why they weren't closed to begin with. Maybe they just added more. So they had to close it i'm not sure but that's what we found when they were open cooker and chris even helped me look at all of the new developers that were added to the game i think there's 20 total like i said in the beginning of the video so firstly you have coeptus obviously he's the scripter coder and programmer of the game he's been here for like what six years eight years i'm not sure Talrander, he's a coder. He was just added to the game. He's a new person. Jorkin, a game designer, and he's one of the new people. Ultra Flan, he's an animator. Froggy Hops, a 3D modeler. Obviously, we all know Froggy. He does like the um, items and meshes and like models and stuff that they add to the game. Quimmer and Mac Riri, they're 3D modelers that he's saying so far. Bram P is a tester. I think that they're going to keep Bram P and any of the other testers that are working on Bloxburg in the game, if that makes sense. But I don't know if they'll have the same role because they'll be working with other people. I'm not sure how it all works. We'll see in the coming. But continuing down the list, you have Shorvis. We don't know who they're going to be working as. Palm's Eyes. We don't know who they're going to be working as either. But they were added as Coeptus' friend and they're in the Bloxburg Development Group. Crazy Honey Pumpkin. They own the uh, test group. That is like the coffee stain group, I guess. And they were added to the Bloxburg Development Group and Coeptus is friend list. Exulte, they are new and added to the Bloxburg Development Group and Coeptus is friends list. And Sprezexa or whatever that said, is unknown and new. And something a lot of people are forgetting are the contributors that are in the Bloxburg Development Group to begin with. Nymphy, they're an animator. SoftGB, they're a GFX artist. Valkenheim, they're a clothing designer. Beast like Music, a music composer. Egotism is a UI and UX designer. O Skies is a GFX artist and UDC creator, and Joshua is a 2D artist for Welcome to Bloxburg. They made the home like thumbnails for Block. Now I know that's a lot of information and a lot of names that I just put out there, but I think it's 20 people total that now work for Bloxburg. That's something that is pretty remarkable considering we started at two. I hope to see more work from Coffee Stain and their development team in the coming months. Obviously we'll continue to see updates from them. We see they're already working on the game, so that's pretty cool but we'll have to see where they go from here. Though I hope you all did enjoy today's video. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And with that, I will see you all in the next. Bye, everybody.